Hey everyone, welcome to AM and the PM. Uh, Ruth here, kind of behind the scenes with Jerry and Barat. Very excited to have you guys tonight. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so, you guys have worked a lot, uh, very hard, some very long, long hours on the new website which we launched this week. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Jerry, let's start with you. Uh, my name is Jerry Budd. Um, I've been involved in FIRST for 18 years now, Director of Engineering here at Anymark. I've uh, been here since 2010 when we actually launched the last website uh, shortly after I got here. It was just in progress when I started. Um, I started with FIRST with Team 461. I uh, helped start 3098 in Michigan in 2008. And then when I moved here, it's uh, kind of been Anymark ever since 2010. And Bharat, let's hear a little bit from you. Yeah, my name is Bharat Nain. Um, I've been part of FIRST for 15 years now. I am an alumni of Team 25 out of North Brunswick, New Jersey. And uh, they're the primary team I've, I've mentored for a long time. Um, currently, I'm an FTA with, with FIRST, and that's, that's my primary involvement as a volunteer. That's cool. You guys do a lot of FTAing, is that right? Uh, over the past few years, yeah. Now, where, where do you guys go and do all that? You, you get a bit, bit of traveling done with that. I, I go to Australia <laughs> quite a bit. Um, and I try to help out the Australia teams as much as I can, which I, I think I have an Australia order. I need to get out the door tonight or get at least started tonight. <laughs> and, um, Brad, where, where do you FDA? Currently, my turkey. Um, but I've also been to Mexico. I've also helped Jerry in Australia. Um, so I've been, I've been all over the place. That's, that's very cool. All right, so we're gonna be taking uh, audience questions throughout the night. Uh, definitely type those into Twitch chat. I'll be looking out for them. Um, we're gonna have a question for a giveaway later in the show. Uh, the first correct answer will get $10 credit to their account. So I hope you're paying attention to some of these intros. Um, because some of that information will be critical later. You might be able to get it on your own. We'll see. Um, so again, really excited to have both of you guys on. Uh, job well done on the new website. You know, there's little bits uh, going on here. Jerry, you mentioned that you came on when we first launched the last site. Um, why did we make this change now to go to the new site? Uh, we kind of hit our box a few years ago. What Illusion. Uh, Illusions was was decent. It was uh, what we needed back then, um, but we, we kind of outpaced what they could support and what options were available. And uh, I we we were having we had tickets that were or support issues that I'm pretty sure are still open from seven years ago. And so we we're kind of getting frustrated with that and not being able to do things we wanted by how things worked and. We're ready to move. So I think last year, year and a half ago, we uh, actually got a hold of Barat and started. He actually helped with uh, the year we won't talk about for First Choice 2012. We also don't talk about other stuff that year, right? Um, he, he actually helped out with the First Choice issues we had way back then. So I got a hold of him and was like, hey, uh, you want to help out again? And he kind of helped me, uh, helped us narrow down choices, figure out what was going on, what all our options were. Mm -hmm. uh, we came across a place called Work Area, or a, a platform called Work Area by Weblink. Um, and it, a uh, lot of really good guys, a good setup. Uh, they're now in version three. They've been around for quite a while. Um, but it's a, a proprietary code, essentially, of ours. So, like, we helped develop the code. Uh, but they have a, a dev team that can help us as well. So it's partially them, partially us. Uh, we can now uh, edit things however we want, whenever we want. Um, which means all the little bugs you're finding, some of it might be... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Working on it. Yeah. I'll take the blame on most of those. Um, we have uh, two developers here in-house. Um, Brat's done a little bit of the code as well, but... Uh, Daniel Bravo and um, Brad Thomas have been helping out. Thompson, sorry, um, has been has they've been helping out a lot with uh, the code internally, uh, and we still have a lot of a lot of things we want to do. Scope creep was a 
a big issue for a little while. So, you know, we, we have too much in process right now and we're trying to fix that so we can get on top of the bugs and then we'll start adding stuff in a more timely fashion. Um, yeah, with, with Volusion, we really didn't have access to do code. Everything we had was kind of JavaScript workarounds. I don't know if anybody ever saw the Evo page. Uh, that was probably the biggest hack job I've ever done in my life um, for working around somebody else's code. Uh, and um, yeah, that's, that's kind of why, why we changed. Very cool. And Brock, what was some of the stuff that you ended up working on for this new site? Yeah, I think my, uh, my area of focus initially was, as Jerry said, helping select a platform. Um, so my background is in e-commerce and I had familiarity with a lot of the different platforms out there. So we, you know, initially I helped narrow down the options. Um, once we selected what we wanted to do, I, I focused on the data migration aspect. Um, one of the key uh, wins that we wanted out of this project was to structure our product data a lot more um, so that we can do things like filtering, have you know, details that are structured and uh, that they're named in a way that's consistent across the site. Um, so I was I was a primary primary driver behind all of that. Cool, very cool. So you started to touch upon some of the differences between work area and pollution. Um, can you go a little bit more into why that ended up being a good jump for us? Uh, the biggest issue is we we can now do anything we want. If we want to change something, we can. Um, if we have we have bugs, we can actually fix the code ourselves. We don't have to wait on somebody else to actually make the changes. Um, we're with, with work area where we have more of a dedicated team versus Illusion where it's, uh, we're just another company with them that I have to call in to support and get in line and features that we want. We have to hope everybody else at Illusion wants those features. Uh, features that we don't want get forced upon us and, and maintenance downtimes every freaking Tuesday and three times a week seems in the past like month um down times were hopefully going to be a lot less than what they used to be because it's kind of our our own we are now our own site with our own containers our own servers uh great not in the building that'd be ridiculous um but all hosted with uh by web link on and we're actually on amazon now so on amazon servers um so was either hoping that or Google, so we at least got in one of them. Um, that's a pretty good yeah, step. It's it's a it's definitely a, a, a huge jump in uh, I don't know e-commerce in an e-commerce platform mm -hmm. uh, website solution. Very yeah, I think it it gets every it gets any mark par with with being able to you know uh, change for operational efficiency. Um, and kind of make the, the platform do what the company needs as opposed to the company doing what the platform does. You know, so that's, that's, a, that's such a big win. That's such a ginormous mm -hmm. win. Absolutely. That's, that's all very exciting stuff. Let's talk a little bit about some of the new features we were able to launch with this site because there's a lot of new stuff that maybe the customers haven't had a chance to discover yet. Uh, well, filters, I think, is one of the best new things that we have. Uh, pretty much any search or any category you go to, do a filter. Mm -hmm. um, we did find that there's a bug on mobile, so you may or may not be able to get it on mobile, uh, depending on, on what resolution you have for whichever phone you've got. Uh, we're working on fixing that. Mm -hmm. um, the There's also, we, we had a, found a fun one. Find thread. You might find that there's an October 2nd thread size. <laughs> We're working on fixing the data for some of that as well. Uh, there was a lot of data migration, and the old one of the back to the whole issue with the last site. The last site kind of did it was just one big blob of text for description, so there was no standardization between uh, how things were were set up as far as the specifications. Uh, we learned that we actually spelled the word specifications in like seven different ways. Um, at least which is entertaining, at least. Uh, so, so you know, there's. This this site's going to help us clean up a lot of that, and and we had to restructure a lot of data, and we still have a lot of data to go through to fix some things. Um, but yeah, if you're if you actually do a search, just do a search for um, like an asterisk or a star, you'll you'll get pretty much all the parts that we have, and then there's a filter right there in the middle. 
Um, and there's there's all these different filters you have, and and you'll see some of them are actually like kind of duplicates because the text is just slightly different. Uh, so that's that's the kind of stuff we have to go back and clean up a little bit. Um, like like Durometer, you actually see a 60A and a 60A black. Uh, those are actually the same thing. We we just need to get them. Oh, and a 60A lowercase. So <sighs> yeah, that that kind of thing. We we just didn't really have a good standard, and we want to we want to make that better. We want to fix it. So we we're working on changing all that stuff to make them make things work better for you. Um, and filters should be a pretty powerful tool. Um, the 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 categories are when we create new products or create new categories, we, we can kind of set up some rules around them. Um, a lot of you noticed that we had a lot of things in some weird categories. Uh, it's because we had some of those rules were too tight and too restrictive, and some of them just let every a lot of products in. So we're working on fixing that kind of thing too. Um, like that one, yeah, like, like the sim motor with opinion gear. Well, it's opinion gear, so, you know, it's in the gear category. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be. So we're working on trying to understand how to how to make those things work better. Um, our search is is now more of a machine based kind of learning search. So as more people use the site, uh, the search will get more and more improved. Uh, so hopefully by January we have uh, enough data in there that it's actually doing really good search for you. Um, oh, no one actually turned returned pretty well. Uh, uh, we, we now have a new quoting system, which is uh, actually a pretty cool feature for our business office. So when you go to place, uh, if you're not sure if you want to place an order or not, uh, you do have to have an account because we have to store the somewhere. But when you go to check out, there's an option for actually uh, selecting quote. And um, when you select that option, if you are logged in, you're, you'll get a, uh, you, you may not be able to get there. You're going to type a lot of other stuff in it. Um, but you, you'll, you'll actually get a quote in your account and then let's say you're a school well if you're a teacher and you like need to place this quote to be able to get a purchase order now you can use that quote to go get your purchase order and you come back to our site you log in you go to your my accounts page and on the bottom right you'll see uh, the section with all your quotes and you can just say there you place order it'll take you straight to checkout um, this will also help it doesn't exactly reserve the parts for you uh, but the quote is good for 30 days so Can help with the things going out of stock a little bit. Um, you could possibly use that feature as well because you should still be able to put in the order even after stocks. Uh, we're going to have to kind of monitor that one for back orders, so you, there might be a few more back orders because of that. But we're going to try to figure out how to as we go through this system, because uh, so there there might be improvements in the future where if you have a quote with something on back order, it's going to show you that it's now on back order for you. Um, when you actually check out, but that's something that's not quite there yet. Work, we're working on it. Um, navigation should be set up a little bit better, so things are a little bit more. Um, I, I, I want to say perfect because, but our, our top nav kind of we broke out our categories. We reanalyzed that whole thing again. Uh, we've done that a couple a couple times over the years, and, and we've kind of decided let's let's go back through it and. And see what we can fix. What what makes sense to go in what categories? Um, yeah, so there's pretty long meetings about that. Yeah. So that one's fun. Uh, we do now have address verification. As well. um, if you mistype, uh, it'll catch help you catch mistyped addresses, and then uh, not having to worry about it actually getting shipped one address and having to come back to somewhere else and calling us in to say, hey, it didn't. It wasn't supposed to go to Kansas. It was supposed to be Kentucky, um, something like that. So that should help with that kind of stuff as well. And we also, uh, I think there's a lot more improved security on the new site. Um, Illusion being around in 2010, like they, I'll be honest, when I, we started with them in 2010, passwords were plain text. <laughs> it was scary. Um, they did improve quite quickly on that one, and within the first year, they, they ended up doing getting all, everything fixed for the plain text issue. But um, I'll, I'll warn you, be careful not to – everybody can still see hashes or a hash key for your password. So we used we kind of had this fun game that you could download all the passwords from Illusion in this Excel file, and everything was hashed. Well, the most common one we guarantee was Annie Mark. 
and we can tell what hash key matched the word. Uh, if you're in, if your password site, you better go change it right now because I'm telling everybody. <laughs> uh, we want we want better security. So yeah, um, and that was actually one of the few things that uh, customers really needed to do when the new site launched was actually physically yeah. go in and change their password on their account and also update their shipping address to make sure we have the absolute correct one in our system. Yep. Yeah, and that was that was mainly because of those two reasons. Very cool. Yeah, passwords and with the run all the addresses and with the passwords we didn't want to migrate stuff over and didn't want to have I, I didn't want to see anybody's password I didn't want to touch that yeah <laughs> near people's passwords that's just not no absolutely and Barat, you did a lot of work behind the scenes on filters correct yeah I think a lot of the the data work was pulling out what does, what specifications does this product contain, uh, and then breaking those out into filters. Um, and the you know the challenging part thing is that there's so many different ways to say one thing. It could be 23 inches with the you know with with in with in dot with space in. There's there's so you know it could be the word inch. Mm -hmm. So there was there was a lot of just going through the permutations of the same the same thing, and uh, converting it to something that's standard. So Jerry and I spent an unbelievable amount of time trying to standardize data. And uh, we still, I mean, it's still not there 100% yet, clearly. You can still go in and you'll see filters that are, that are the same. You know, you could say, oh, that's the same thing. But the, the challenge has always been that when we, you know, when we started putting data in, there was, there was sort of no reason to standardize it. Mm -hmm. um, and now where we are, we we want to make sure it's consistent. It's something that you can filter and get to the exact products that you want. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we're going to continue improving on that. Very cool. Yeah. All right. I think, uh, we've done, we, so I think we did a huge, oops, sorry. I, th I think we did a huge job on that just because our very first of uh, putting stuff over, it, it, was, it was a mess. <laughs> cool. Uh, Speaking of password improvement, um, we're going to get to that in a second, but this is a point in the show where we give you the giveaway question. Prize tonight is going to be a $10 credit to your account. And the question is, name, or the, the, the challenge is, name three countries that Jerry and Barat have FTA'd in. We talked about it a little bit earlier in the show. You may know them offhand. Uh, feel free to phone a friend. You can bribe Jerry or Barat to uh, give you those answers. Um, Submit your answer in the chat. First correct answer will get $10 added to their account. We'll give you a free gimme on that one. The United States is one of the countries they've both FTA'd in. So you just gotta figure out two more to go with that. Yeah, too um, bad I didn't say all of mine at the beginning. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it harder. Uh, although Jerry does have some hints in his background, if you can figure that out. Oh, wait. <laughs> Uh, BTM two two five says Australia, Canada, U.S. Did you ever do a Canada one, Barat? I've never done a Canada one. Oh, that is I don't not think I've done a Canada one. I've if been, I to, wanted uh, to do a Canada another one. Another answer. Uh, Australia and the United States are correct. Canada yeah. is not. Uh, Australia, Israel, United States. That, uh, that counts. All right. That can't say that one, but I did go to Israel. Two, two, five. Uh, go ahead and shoot the AnyMark account a whisper with your email address <laughs> on your AnyMark account, and we'll get that credit set up for you. Um, so let's talk about some of the features that we're going to be improving on the website. You know, you mentioned a few times there's stuff that's still a little buggy. What can uh, what can our customers expect to see improving between now and uh, you know at, at the very least kickoff? Obviously, we'll make more improvements way further down the road, but kickoff is that next big milestone. Yep. Um, I think the biggest things we're trying to work on is uh, sort when you go into uh, pages, being able to sort by different things. Um, there's been on the board. So there's some default sort options you had, but we can improve those and, and add some more stuff. Um, quantity discounts coming back. There's We, we haven't moved all those over. Um, and we're working on how to set up each one of those and, and how, what to add. Um, so we're going to add a bunch of that stuff in there. Uh, we, that was a kind of a really big pain to set up on Volusion. It's actually should be relatively easy. I also don't want to accidentally discount our entire website. 
Um, inventory status. So, like, we're, we want to bring back the clear inventory status. So, this is in stock, out of stock, and on surges. Um, right now, you can see whether it's in stock or out of stock by the actual page. But on a search, you don't really, you can't really tell. So, we're working on getting that stuff back in. Uh, we're hoping to have uh, tables uh, laid out again, where you have all the specs in a table for each different items that kind of so you can easily sort through things <clears throat> and figure out what what you really need and what's important to you um, or what your application is uh, that's probably the biggest things that we're going to focus on before kickoff uh, there there might be others that we're working on that we're going to try to stay quiet about because either we we, we hope we'll make it and we don't want to get anybody excited and not make it um, or we're just really not sure if we can make it in quite yet um, launch actually went a lot better than what I thought it would. We, we did have a lot of bugs on Monday. Um, we still have it every once in a while. You'll still get a internal server error, which we're, I think we've identified that bug and it's being fixed here. Uh, should be in by tomorrow morning or tomorrow at lunch, I believe. Uh, last time I heard. So, but yeah, by all means, please let us know if you're still having bugs, if you have bugs at all. If it's one that I think we've already got, that doesn't matter. It still helps to identify that you guys are having them. Um, we have a support channel. It's, um, we're using the same one as for uh, web bugs, just like we do for our product support. Uh, so support at anymark.com is the email you can, if you want to send a direct email, or you can go to support.anymark.com. And it'll take you to, the, to this lovely page um, that you can kind of insert whatever you need. Uh, you can make an account there if you want. And it's, it's, um, it's a product called Freshdesk, if, everybody, if anybody's ever used a, a support ticketing system. So we've been using Freshdesk for quite a while on product support, and it seems to be working relatively well there. So we're just going to continue using it for uh, the website stuff as well. Um, and then we will track that internally for, and we'll be able to post to this so people can pay attention to what's going on. So if there's um, bugs, we'll actually try to put, put them out there so people can see that what bugs are being worked on before having to submit other bugs. And we'll try to get that a little more public. So NA is not a valid number. That's interesting. I need to fix that. We found a bug. I mean. I mean, it's not a valid number. That's correct. Um, yeah, that, we need to change that because our new ordering system does not use just a number. It now uses right. uh, letters. So that is actually just like that. You could you could go report that bug right now if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's not actually our site, but it is our setup. So there you go. Yeah, and there's also a pretty active Chief Delphi thread that we're checking. Yeah. Um, it's a titled new Anymark website. So if you if you find a bug and you happen to post it there to see if anybody else has run into it, we're looking out for notifications on that. We'll let you know when we're working on your bug, um, if it's something we've already fixed, if you're just weird. Um. <laughs> you're just weird. Yep, you just, just yeah, post just weird. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird too. Shoot we're all weird. Let's go back to okay. shooting. <laughs> Definitely checking multiple places uh, for, all the, for all the information. Um, anytime you can get us screenshots of your issue and uh, examples of how you got to that bug or how stuff's not working, um, you know, that's always a help. Uh, so that way we're not kind of scrambling to recreate that issue. So that's, cool. uh, that's pretty good stuff. Um, so feedback's important. You know, there were a couple of big things. Uh, was, was there anything else you guys wanted to say about the website? Maybe uh, what your favorite new parts are? Uh, well, we have a, don't we have a launch coming up soon? Parts? We Maybe. do have a new launch coming up soon. Um, so historically when we've had new product launches jerry you used to have to take down the entire oh, site right yeah uh well you didn't have to but it made it even more interesting <laughs> <clears throat> and people would find even more crazy things happening on the fly at the same time yeah the, the, the new one we actually have a there's there's a whole setup system that we can kind of uh play around in a sandbox in the background essentially and then all of it can kind of get pushed at the same time so 
Uh, one of the new new improvements for this site should be that we don't actually have to take the website down, so it'll just all appear at the right time. That's uh, cool. Speaking of the 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 what was the one we just did today? The launch sale. It launched at noon. Oh, yeah. It was all it was all done. It it happened at noon. I didn't even have to do anything at noon. It just it just went. It was so easy. Pretty cool. And yeah, that sale. If you make a purchase over a hundred dollars on the website. You get ten percent off your order. Like that's that's everything. So that so name it well, except for gift cards. You you can't buy a gift card with a gift card and get ten percent off to buy another. Ten percent off. They, yeah, we gotta stop that loop. We're programmers too. We got it. Yeah. Um, yeah right. so any any robot parts? Gift cards are not yep. robot parts. Uh, yep. You got it. So you could go and get uh, you know the, the super fancy uh, pneumatics kit that's got. Uh, tons and tons of connectors and accumulators and solenoids uh, and you could get an extra kit chassis you can get uh, you know redline motors a new redline motor um, pretty much anything that's available on the site now we've never had a sale like this before it's unprecedented um, so you really take advantage of it while you can that's going to be open and running through the end of the 30th of November and uh, it's a really great chance to stock up on stuff that you're going to need for your shop for the upcoming FRC season. And, you know, if you're an FTC team, it's a good time to be able to restock on stuff as you're going into competitions. Um, but speaking of the new red line, um, in the uh, blog post from Frank yesterday about, oh, it was, it was from Kevin O'Connor in engineering at first, they, they went through and they listed all the new motors. And you may have noticed Andy Mark has a new motor. It's an A revision, which is got a slightly higher free speed and some other little more powerful bits to it um, that we're releasing this season, uh, which will be on the legal list. Uh, you, you may have noticed by poking around on our new website that it's not up yet. And yep. We're going to have a new product release dropping uh, for all of our new products for the 2019 FRC season on December 6th. So that's uh, just under two, three weeks from now. I believe it's just under for three weeks from now. That feels awfully close. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, though. <laughs> just under three weeks from now, we'll have a show going live on here on Twitch at 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll go through and we'll talk about all the new products we're launching, um, some of the thought process behind them, what went into the development, and some ways that you might be able to use those products uh, on your future and current robots. Um, the new products will drop at 6 p.m. They'll be live on the website, and uh, from about 6 p.m. onward, we'll have live Q&A on some of the new parts and products uh, with our engineers and Andy. So that's, that's going to be a pretty cool uh, advantage uh, with the new website, that we can just have everything drop like that, and yeah. Jay doesn't have to be working with Brett and uh, Bravo and Brad and Barat. <laughs> on all the bees really down now. and getting everything back up. Yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. Yes. Um, and you can find more information about that. There should be a post going up on Chief Delphi any minute now uh, from Nick Lawrence, who's uh, one of our our favorite resident Canadian here at Andy Mark. Um, and that'll have more information on what you can expect from the show, what you can expect from the product launch, and all that good stuff. Um. And if anybody in the nope. Twitch chat has questions for Jerry or Barat, now's the time to ask him. Uh, you can pretty much ask him anything if you want to. I, not, I may not answer, but you can ask me anything. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> um, so, chat's, chat's pretty quiet right now. But so, no bag day, 2020. Yeah. No bag day. No bag day. Exciting. I think it's or is it? interesting <laughs> to see what the impact is on the community. There's a lot of speculation going on out there right now. Uh, I, yes. I believe this now means everybody can make four robots. <sighs> they couldn't have made four robots before. Oh, no, no, but now everybody can. Or just, can your team compete yeah. at four events at once? Is that no, not no, possible? No, no, that's okay. You just, you just need to build four. Build a robot for every team member. That works. There yeah. are going to be some good educational experience. A lot more than four robots. 
Uh, yeah, that's, that works. <laughs> that works. You're going to have your own competitions at your own shop. Yeah. Che- yeah. Cheesy Poofs is probably going to have like their own internal competition. <laughs> Watch out for their robot. Holy crap. Yeah. It's, it's going to be an exciting time. I, I think it will be interesting to see how that plays out for teams um, over the next couple seasons. Hopefully the teams take some time this year to adjust their mindset on, you know, how do you approach your season? How often do you meet after a bag day? Um, is that going to change next year when you're going to have full access to your robot? Maybe a lot more do you teams keep will go to AB testing or they'll go yes. to AA testing. Yeah, yeah. You just make sure you keep your grades up. Don't, don't, don't slough on that. Yeah. Right. Or that's that the real point. More time on class for the six weeks that you didn't used to <laughs> and not work quite as hard and actually still have the, the, a good robot. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. How There's many more options? Six weeks to find out what everybody else has done before they start. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> robot in three days. Everybody, well, there's a lot to just pull off of that. Why don't we just wait four or five weeks and see what everybody else has? Copy paste. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come on, come up with something original, guys. Yeah, I hope to see a lot of original, really in depth and fleshed out robots in this upcoming year. Even that extra week for teams competing in week one events, um, that extra week of development between bag day and the start of week one, or almost two weeks, is going to be enough development time for teams that were spending all practice day really polishing and finishing it, building their robots will be able to go in and actually practice and pass inspection and all that good stuff and be ready to go and far more prepared than they were uh, in previous years. I would graciously accept everybody to have some originality. Always. Yes. Always. Right. Yes. So Stop like using that phrase. <laughs> it doesn't look like Kat has any questions for us. So we're going to sign off here. Thanks for joining us on this week's episode of AM and the PM. We'll be back in two weeks for a show with Nick Lawrence and Liz Smith. And that's going to be at 6 p.m. on November 29th. That's a week after Thanksgiving. Uh, there'll be one day left in the sale at that point, so maybe we'll talk about some hot items you can get with that. We'll also be smack dab in the middle of First Choice. Uh, which is a website that we also provide oh. and run. <laughs> My phone took me. Um, so it's mine. And, uh, we'll, we'll be talking about some cool kid of card stuff that we uh, get to do with that. Um, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, signing out from Ruth, Jerry, and Barat. Have a good night, everyone. Peace out. Bye.